right, Mr. Miyagi style. Hey, T-G-I-F. Happy Friday, guys. Have a good weekend. Um, don't drink too much. Actually, nah, you drink whatever you want. Um, uh, I did uh, uh, um, uh, about the selfie sticks. So it's the uh, three meter extended selfie sticks. Uh, I have two. I'm not sponsored anyway by Insta360. They did, however, send me the stick as I requested because I bought this. Uh, this is a Cam Noon uh, third party aftermarket three meter stick because I want something long for the X4 and for other cameras as well because I'm going on my trip in July and I'm going to be on a boat so I want to extend this out in the boat to get some kind of drone type shots with the X4 um, so I needed something long I bought this it's not bad guys it's uh, it's a carbon fiber both of these are carbon fiber uh, Insta360 was good enough to send me this uh, to test out and go against the uh, the generic one. Um, here's the box for it. The generic one came in kind of a brown, no label box from I bought it from Amazon. So um, that said, guys, uh, it's going to be very uh, simple. I did a, a field test with these two and just some flex tests. Um, and then I had the X4 on, on the uh, ends of these and to do a flex test with that and see if it actually, if the uh, invisible selfie stick actually works with this as well as the, uh, the one that was sent by uh, Insta360, the extended one. Um, I'm gonna go through here very quickly and, and what the differences between the two. There are subtle differences. They both work good. Uh, they both will do the job. It's just, I don't know how, what the durability is like for the third party one um, it is thinner if you look at the two but it is longer okay um, now the cam noon the third party one is a screw lock so you, you have to unscrew it and then open it and extend okay uh, whereas the um, the insta 360 one is not screw it just pulls right out and it goes it tracks back in so there's no screwing no tightening that kind of stuff which is nice because it doesn't come out on, on its own, uh, unless you really flick it, then it just comes out a little bit, so it's not too bad. This one, it's like, the only thing I don't like about this one is, uh, you'll notice this, okay? <laughs> so that might be an issue. Uh, <laughs> this looks like a, like a screamer stick, so. <laughs> they're both good weapons, just saying. Um, but they're both about the same weight, I think. Uh, the Insta360 might be a little bit heavier, um, they are both carbon fiber. They both have the quarter inch screw at the bottom. So if you need a, to screw on a base, um, you can screw on a base and have a stand as well. Um, now pros and cons of the two. Um, the pros of this is just, it's small and it's, it's thicker, but it's, it's shorter. So to pack it into like a, a carry on or a lobby easier than, uh, with this one, I wouldn't pack this on a carry on because um the past few times that i've traveled they've always been looking at my uh selfie sticks for some weird reason i think it's a weapon or something like that like a like a baton or whatever so i've been putting my selfie sticks in the check-in luggage um just to keep from you getting stopped and searched and by security um so for inconvenience nobody's who cares it's not that expensive like honestly it's not like a camera or electronics it's not gonna it doesn't have batteries and whatever so uh that said uh a significant length difference. This one's thinner though. This one's thicker. This one makes noise. This one does not. Okay. Now, the one thing I, I, I don't like about this one is that, um, uh, again, they're both carbon fiber. The one thing I don't like about this is the screw. Now, the pro of that is that you can lock the joints, right? Uh, so the, the extensions won't come out even if you flick it really hard. Whereas if you flick this really hard, it will come up a little bit, but not much, right? Um, the thing I don't like about this is that uh, um, it, when you unscrew it, it's metal screws. When it extends the one part, there's actually another section. So there's actually two sections per one uh, screw. So then that's the same with the next one and you have to unscrew it and then the next one and so forth. Um, now the pro of this is that I can actually extend it to this part and I, would, I can lock these together, screw it together and lock them. Okay, so then I only have this part extended. Uh, whereas this one, it just pulls out and pushes in. There's no control in terms of locking a section, that kind of thing. So that's the only con that I, I don't know if that's even a con. Um, so I wouldn't say that's a con. 
But let's remember, guys, this this is about a hundred dollars. Uh, I pay forty dollars, fifty dollars for this one, right? Uh, it will extend the same length. They do have almost the same flex because they are carbon fiber. Um, in terms of strength, I haven't really used it to the point where it's putting it to the the stress test. Um, you know, you're just extending, you're just, you're just doing your, I know some people I put on their motorbikes and stuff like that and it's broken or snapped off. I don't know if I would put these, any of these on a motorbike. Um, Telesyn makes one that's similar to this guy. Uh, I don't have it. So I, I, I look at the specs of it, I almost bought it. So it's actually more expensive than this one. It's almost the same price as this one, actually. Um, and it has the, I think it has the, uh, it doesn't have the screw lock and uh it's about the same length so i don't have i don't know if anybody can yeah, has it they can certainly post on my description and and, and let me know how they like it um that said the grips there's no grip on this one uh i actually had to use hockey tape and i taped the whole <laughs> so what i have it's actually really smooth this thing actually slipped out of my hands a few times this one's kind of nice because the bottom part there's a foam grip so you have a foam grip that you have a good grip on Okay, and it does have the neat, the neat thing about this is that uh, they put the measurements distance uh, or the length on each of the each of the sections to tell you how long it is and, and stuff like that. Uh, I, 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 I wouldn't I don't use it. So it's kind of just nifty that you have that label that tells you how long each section is right or how long you're extended on the on the thing. Um, they're both good sticks, guys. There's a price difference, there's subtle differences. There's one's longer, one's thicker. Uh, this one makes noise, this one doesn't. The one thing I really don't like about this, and it's happened to me a couple, I don't know if I still have it. Uh, I don't have it anymore. This, this how when I first got this stick. So when you're screwing this, um, a lot of people have actually complained about this particular, when you put it down, um, it's kind of, it pinches you. So between the threads and the actual where it goes into connects, it, it pinches. It's pinched me a couple times, especially the top part. And I had a, a pinch that, had, that built kind of a blood clot on my finger. It hurt too. Like it, it's like metal pinching you. Um, that's one thing I don't like about it because it's been. You have to really be careful when you put it back. Um, you have to be careful you don't pinch your 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 skin. Um, this one you don't have that problem because it's it's actually pretty neat. It's not. It's kind of plastic. It's not metal, so even if it pinches you, it doesn't hurt like this one does. This one's on the edge of the plastic. It's actually sharp on the on where it screws in, where the thread is. The other thing I don't like about this, and this is probably the worst thing I hate about this, is that um, when you screw this section in, if you do it too tight, like I've done a time where I just kind of just tighten it, and I couldn't get it undone. Uh, I had to use a wrench or a pliers to open it. Um, because it's metal and and it's 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 so tight it's like it's like you know jars when you have that you can't open that jar you, you gotta kind of and and they don't give you enough traction or enough grip on here to get a good grip to untighten if it's really tight uh, again i had to use pliers to pop it open if you have wet hands forget it or, or or slip oily hands or if it's humid out and your hands are wet and if you tighten this too much, you won't be able to get that open. So that's that's those are two big cons for me with this this thing. Not a lot of cons with this one, um, other than its thickness. I really like this. It's 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 built it's built really nice, and they're both carbon fiber. Um, I I like this. It's easier for me to put this in my backpack uh, than this one is. Um, and this one doesn't make noise. This one. <laughs> it's like that toy, you know, you, you just got the little thing goes, anyways. Um, and the grip was a big thing. This one, I don't have the tape. This one, I actually, actually you can, I don't know if you can see it. I actually hockey taped it all the way up so I have a grip on it. Um, other than that, they're both good sticks. If I had a choice, put in two, I would take this one. If you're a budget, then go with this one. Uh, they both will do the same thing. You just have to be careful with the pinching and, and to, to over tightening the, uh, the screws on the top. Uh, that's the only thing. So we'll move to the video and do, you can look at the test. Uh, it's a little windy out here, so the sun's kind of in and out and it might rain. So I may have to just pack this up uh, right away. I'm going to come back. All right, the two sticks I'm going to be testing is these two right here. So this is the Cam Noon um, 3 meter and this is the Insta360 3 meter as well. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to do a quick uh, um, outdoor video of these two. The wind is really blown here. Oh, my camera doesn't get blown down. <laughs> I'm going to put the screen down just in case. 
But yeah, these are the two sticks right here. Uh, I'm going to go back to the office and I'll go through a close up of the differences between the two uh, physical comparison. Um, they both extend to three meters. Um, you'll see that there's a big difference between the two. And I'm just going to do some flex tests with this. So I'm going to do the, the Cam Noon one first. Now, the only thing I, the one thing I don't like about this uh, third party is that uh, you have to unscrew it and it extends and then there's a there's a double extension and it rattles when you actually uh, retract it and I'll show you that close up as well so you got to kind of unscrew it's a pain in the butt it's a long process and then sometimes you have to be really careful because if you don't if you screw this too tight it's really hard to unscrew it so if your hands are wet or whatever you're gonna have a real issue with this so this is your 10 foot pole I think this is extended so that's a 10 foot pole. Here's your flex. You know, you see the flex? Okay, it's like a fishing pole. Okay, I'll put this one down. And I'm gonna do the Insta360. It's a little thicker, and there's no rattling when you retract it down. And it doesn't screw, it just pulls out and extends. Which is nice because um, you don't have to worry about unscrewing, that kind of thing. So these are the two poles. Flex wise, you'll see the two. They both flex pretty much the same. They're both carbon fiber. They're supposed to be really strong. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put a camera at the end of this and then you'll see. Make sure it's all retracted. There you go. It's all full. All right. So the X4, it's going to go on this, uh, this too. So I'll do the uh, third party one first. So it's recording now on the X4. The X4 is really relatively heavy. You'll see the flex. It's kind of curved down a little bit on the end. I don't know if you guys can see it far better this way. <laughs> so it's kind of curved down a little bit. It's starting to rain a little bit here. I don't know if you guys can see it, so it does curve and it does flex. It's kind of curved down a little bit on the end. I don't know if you guys can see it so far better this way. <laughs> so it's kind of curved down a little bit. It's starting to rain a little bit here. So. so I don't know if you guys can see it, so it does curve and it does flex, right? So I'm going to shoot it up, get a sample video. Okay, so that's the flex one. Now I'll tell you some of the reasons why I don't like about this particular stick. You have to like kind of knock it to close it. and screw it to lock it down it was sunny this morning and it got cold and then it got sunny and it's raining it doesn't stop <laughs> good old canadian weather so it's kind of spitting a little bit so i better do this real quick okay so this is on the end of the 360. the 360 is a little bit lighter i think and it doesn't flex as bad um like the other one kind of curves down and you guys can tell in the video you'll see Alright, nice thing about this, I don't have to worry about screwing it down, I just have to just close it. You don't have to worry about winding it, closing it, screwing it, that kind of thing. It's, it's nice that it just slides in. And I'll tell you why there's an advantage to that as well. Um, so let me shut this off. Okay, so we'll see how the footage, I'll post the footage for the uh, 360. But that's it guys, put the links down for both of these now and you can purchase either one. Um, this one again is about $40, $50 and this one's about $100. Um, and then you, you figure it out if you're budget, if you're budget concerned, I would go with this one. If you're not, this is a better stick uh, overall just because of the grip, the no sound, the pinching, you don't have to screw, that kind of thing. So it, it is a better stick. In terms of durability, they're both about the same as far as I can see anyways, and flex are about the same. So I'll let you guys be the judge of that. You guys decide which one you want to get. They're both good. All right. Have a good one. Respect. Ciao.